so i am having a list this is an unsorted list i want to sort the particular list in the order so to be able to sort this list there are many procedures one is a merge sort procedure what does merge sort procedure do it uses the same divide and conquer approach as we have used in the binary search that we are going to divide our problem into halves and then we are trying to conquer it so what we are trying to do in the merge sort is we divide the array into two halves we sort the each array and then merge the sorted arrays we again divide the array into two halves we again divide the array into two halves so what is happening is the array is divided then we have the 10 1 5 we again divide it it becomes 10 and 1 and it becomes 5 i am again dividing the array it becomes 10 it becomes 1 i now join them in sorted order i compare i copy the smaller element then i copy the bigger element now i will join these two arrays after joining again in sorted order i will be having the sorted array same will repeat here abhi to ye wala half sort hua after these iske baad same will repeat here it will be broken into 6 2 and 3 as a separate array then it this will be broken into 6 and 2 then these will be merged as 2 comma 2 and 6 then 2 3 and 6 will be merged i am writing here since i am out of space then you will be having 2 3 6 and then finally you will have 1 5 and 10 and you will have to merge them so what how you merge them what is the procedure for merging if this is first array this is second array this is having an index i this is having an index j i check if a of i is equal to b of j sorry if less than whatever is smaller i copy here since i'm copying 1 1 is less than 2 i move i to the next location i again check 5 is less than 2 no copy 2 jisko copy kare uska index move kar diya again check 5 is less than 3 no copy 3 move the index again check 5 less than 6 true copy 5 move the index again check 10 less than 6 no copy 6 the array has ended jitna bhi bacha hua array hai yahan pe copy the array as it is so the merging is done and finally you get the sorted array this is known as a merge sort procedure so if i write this procedure in terms of program it can be written as simple program which is a say void merge sort this merge sort is going to happen on an array and again i am going to have arrays beginning this is an integer array i have integer beginning and i have an integer ending of the array so within this since i am going to use recursive calls i should give the condition of breaking kab tak recursive call kariye jab tak single element nahi aa rahe mein so if beginning is equal to end there is a single element we not do anything return else you are doing whatever we are doing what you are doing is you are just calculating the middle and you are breaking the array in the two halves so calculate integer mid is equal to beginning plus end by 2 call the merge sort procedure on the first half which is array beginning से लेके मिड तक दिस इज दर्स्ट हाफ कॉल द सेम मर्ड शॉर्ट प्रोसीजर फॉर द एरे मिड प्लस वन से एंड तक एंड नाउ मर्ज दीज टू एरेज सो आई एम कॉलिंग अनदर फंक्शन विच इज मर्ज विच आई विल डिफाइन जस्ट नाउ मर्ज आई विल कॉल ऑन द सेम एरे बिगिनिंग से लेके एंड तक आई ऑल्सो पास द मिडल हेयर आई हैव टू मर्ज सो आई एम पासिंग द मिडल This is all merge sort. But it's not a procedure. A merge sort. Ka. So if I try to calculate the complexity, there are two recursive calls and there is one merge. So if I try to write t of n, this is equal to t of n upon two plus t of n upon two. First half, second half. के लिए recursive call half size पे plus जितना भी मुझे merging में time लग रहा है merging का time. So big O of the merge procedure. so this becomes 2t of n by 2 plus big o of the merge procedure which i will just explain
is this clear to all so let us try to write the merge procedure and then how many number of calls will be there since it is going to be n by 2 n by 4 kahan tak jayenge recursive calls t1 tak the number of recursive calls again if i am trying to solve the same thing t of n is equal to 2 t of n upon 2 plus merge so merging ki complexity that we will be having of the order n we'll just see how this will come out to be 2 t of n upon 2 square see this if i'm breaking this plus of the order n by 2 plus of the order n this is how it will come out to be every time and this will repeat till when it will repeat it will repeat till we reach t of 1 if i'm reaching t of 1 when will be i reaching t of 1 again this is n upon 2 raised to the power k jab 1 ho jayega so i have to find k k times recursive call hui hai k ke liye i have to find n is equal to 2 raised to the power k taking log k is equal to log of n taking log on both sides k is equal to log n is the number of recursive calls this is the number of this is the recursive calling divide and conquer the recursive calls and divide and conquer is happening so if i will try to find out on ko kitni baar hame add karna pad raha hai because it will be multiplied by 2 divided by 2 so we have on 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 so this comes out to be k into of the order n k is log n so i am going to have this as complexity will be n log n the complexity of merge sort comes out to be of the order n log n now let us quickly see the merge procedure also merge me i am having the integer array i am having beginning mid and i am having the end so Within this merge procedure, I have to merge now. Ab merge करने के लिए I I am running loops simply. I have to run the loops. So I am running for i is equal to beginning. पहला loop जो है पहला array जो है वो beginning से शुरू हो रहा है. Sorting methods बहुत सारे हैं साची. आज हम merge sort ही पढ़ रहे हैं. There will be five to six sorting methods that we'll do today. We are doing only merge sort. so first array is beginning with is starting with beginning j is the starting of the second array which is starting with middle plus 1 fine and i am also taking k as a third element which is starting with 0 so i am taking an integer c which is an array of some size jo ki maximum jo bhi aapne liya hoga temporary array to store the temporary result of sorting then i have the condition ab condition aa rahi hai कब तक करना है जब तक पहला या दूसरा एरे फिनिश ना हो जाए सो इफ सॉरी कंडीशन इज आई लेस देन आई शुड बी लेस देन मिड आई शुड बी लेस देन इक्वल टू मिड एंड माय इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इज अ सो आई एम हैविंग i is less than equal to mid is the condition for first array not to be finished and j is less than equal to and is the condition for second array not so after this the only thing that you will increment is k i or j me se whatever is being copied only that will be incremented not all what i have to do is i have to check if array of i is less than equal to array of j then copy i then c of k is equal to array of i chote wala copy kara and increment i else c of k is equal to array of j and increment j after this loop is over you will be sorting now after the loop is over either 
फर्स्ट हाफ या सेकेंड हाफ जो है वो बाकी होगा कॉपी होना सो यू हैव टू डू दैट ऑल्सो आई एम राइटिंग दिस हेयर सो टू कॉपी दैट आई एम रनिंग अ लूप फॉर फॉर और आई कैन से आई एम रनिंग अ लूप वाइल i is less than equal to mid jab tak i mid se chhota hai matlab there are elements left what have i to do c of k is equal to array of i i plus plus k plus plus continue doing that agar ye nahi hai then i should have while j less than equal to end again c of k is equal to array of j i j plus plus and k plus plus after i have copied what do i need to do i need to copy the temporary array back into the original array so last loop is for i is equal to 0 and i have to begin from beginning so i am having or, or say k is equal to 0 i is equal to beginning i have to run till i is less than n and i plus plus k plus plus What have I to do in this loop? Array of i is equal to c of k. I have to copy it back. Done my procedure. Finished with the merging. So what has happened in the merging? I will quickly show you the example here. So the example that says example says if I am having an array, I am trying to merge these two arrays. This is the complete array. in which i am doing the merge so it has been broken from here this is my some merge part say 5 10 15 and i am having 4 12 and 13 okay so these are the two merge parts that i am having 0 1 2 is the first array 3 4 5 is the third array so i am calling merge for beginning is 0 end is 5 and mid is 2 fine now i is equal to beginning i is equal to 0 now i becomes 0 j is mid plus 1 j comes here i comes here and k is 0 i have created a k 0 for a new array c k is 0 k is currently pointing to 0 and i am checking i less than mid 0 less than 2 j less than n 3 less than 5 true Go here. Array of i less than array of j. Check five less than four. No, it is not. Come here. C k is array of j. So c of k becomes four. Increment j. Go back here. Increment k. Again check i less than mid. I is still zero. Less than two. J is four. Less than five. Both conditions true. Come here. Again check five less than twelve. Array of i less than array of j. Yes. Copy i. increment i copy i and increment i again check again increment k also coming here again check the condition 1 less than 2 4 less than 5 again true again check array of i less than array of j 10 less than 12 yes copy 10 increment i go here increment k again check i is 2 less than equal to 2 true 4 less than equal to 5 true again check 15 less than 13 no not less than 13 come here copy 13 sorry 15 less than 12 copy 12 increment j go back increment k again check the condition still being true compare 15 and 13 13 is smaller gets copied j becomes 6 now j becomes 6 j is not less than equal to and the condition breaks i come here i is still 2 2 less than equal to 2 is true so copy c of k me array of i c of k me i copy array of i which is the remaining so i copy 15 it will break j less than equal to and 6 less than equal to 5 is not true so i will not go in this loop go back for this loop copy this sorted array back into the original array so that the original array becomes 4 5 10 Twelve, thirteen, and fifteen, and I have merged, and I will return. I hope the merge sorting is clear to all of you. This is how we perform the merge sorting procedure.
Is it clear to all of you? Anybody, any doubts may please ask. 